goals tonight, the first thing I noticed was your teammates picking, or your players picking each other up, picking their teammates up. How encouraging is that as you have a coach that they didn't hang their head at once tonight? Yeah, not only tonight, but all season. It, it's, been, it's been a tough go. You know, we have a lot of uh, very, very close games. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've been, we've dropped a lot of those games. We've been in overtime a bunch. Um, you know, tonight in virtually every statistic, uh, we were ahead. We had more shots. We had more corners. Uh, but they got the two that mattered, you know, and, and that was the difference on the night. We had two clear-cut chances that we weren't able to finish. And, you know, against good teams, we have to stick those away. So um, it was difficult, but I think our guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good team. And uh, you're right, I was real pleased with their attitude, their effort, you know. But that comes part and parcel with what we expect from our guys here. You know, that's not something that that we applaud, that's something that we expect. And our guys did that tonight. And, you know, they'll continue to do that the rest of the year. And we just got to keep pushing hard and, and hope that we get a few breaks and a few things fall our way. You mentioned losing a couple close games. Uh, you've now lost three in a row and four of the last five. Is it kind of one loss leads to the next? Well, no, every game's different. You know, uh, the one that we won was in overtime against a nationally ranked team on the road. So, you know, they've they've done quite well since that. So, no, I mean, you just go one game to the next. And we've played a tough schedule. Um, the trip to New Mexico is very demanding. Uh, and then to turn around and come back and play this game on, on Tuesday night was a, a big challenge for our guys. And uh, I was really proud of, you know, the effort that they put out there tonight. Um, what do you think is going to, like, take your guys to execute and finish the game? Yeah, I wish I knew if I if I had the answer to that, I'd, I, I would be a millionaire, you know. Uh, I You know, we just keep working on the basics, you know, keep we work on finishing a lot, um, you know, and when we get those chances, we got to put them away. And that's a lot of times the difference in tight games is the ability to finish chances and the ability to capitalize on mistakes that the opponent makes. And tonight we did capitalize, but we didn't put those chances away. Um, Late in the mid and late in the first half, it seemed like Wake was dominating possession. Um, and then in the sec or in the second half, you guys were kind of dominating possession. Was there something you said at halftime? No, I think in the first half it was it was pretty even. I thought statistically and everything else, the game was pretty even. They had a good bit of the ball. Uh, second half, I thought once they scored, we, we really pushed hard and, and took a lot of chances. We turned them over a few times and had some good chances. We had to take a few more risks to try to step up the game at that point. And, uh, you know, the guys know that. They, they, they know what needs to be done at that point. And uh, I thought they did a good job. And we put a lot of pressure on them. We just weren't able to come up with anything. About the higher press for the defense, was that something that you just wanted to be a style for this team? Or was there something you saw from Wake Forest that you wanted to exploit? No, we, we that's a characteristic of our team. We try to do that. And there are certain triggers, there are certain times, because you can't chase all over the field the whole game because it's, you know, just you, you won't have the energy to do it. Tonight they recognized a few of those cues and did really well with it. The difference was we just weren't able to capitalize on those. It's kind of like recovering a fumble and uh, inside the red zone and not being able to score. And, you know, that was tough. But, um, you know, the effort was good. The recognition was good. We just didn't quite get the finish that we needed tonight. Um, speaking of finishing, Wake obviously did and you guys didn't. Is that kind of just the difference between you guys and the number two ranked team in the country? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the difference in a, in a match between two good teams. A lot of times what happens, the two teams play each other to a stalemate and then somebody makes a play. You know, somebody makes a play, whether it's the NFL, whether it's the NBA, or whether it's college soccer. And tonight you had two good teams going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, and they finished their chances on the night, and we didn't. And, you know, that's, that's just the way that it went. Anything else for Coach, guys? All right, thanks. Hey, thanks, everybody, for being out here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.